And hello guys, I'm Lenos Sandler and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Ayurappa. My name is Jasam. In this video, I'm going to have an interview with uh, one and only Toye. You know, uh, like it's been a long time since your people are asking about energy engineering course. I think it will be useful for those who wants to pursue their masters in energy engineering, the pros and cons and so on. So before entering into this video, if you are new to my channel, please go back to my, you know, uh, channel page and uh, you know to watch all the videos it's all about Italy and its uh, education system and uh, I hope you like it so guys uh, um, as you all know <laughs> as you all know that uh, he's my one of the closest friend I have got in Italy and uh, you, you know if you are doing Instagram, if you are following me, most probably you, you have seen him already. And uh, yeah, and I am going to interview uh, about his studies and so all. Um, okay, so bro, uh, give a brief introduction about yourself. Um, uh, my name is Tayyib, uh, I am from Kerala. Uh, like me and Jasim, we are basically from neighboring states. <laughs> okay, alright, so bro, uh, tell me something about your bachelor's. So yeah. My bachelor's was in mechanical engineering. Mm -hmm. uh, I did my bachelor's in uh, in a government aided college in in Kerala. Okay. So I mean, it was just like any other bachelor's, nothing special, you know, just making friends, having fun, mm -hmm. you know, the just the transition from school stage to bachelor's and all those the things. Enjoyment phase. Exactly, picking things up, you know, starting mm -hmm. to live with yourself, and live alone, alone, and then yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, figuring out stuff then you know like the courses we do are very different from as usual i mean everyone will be going through those things yes yes of course so you know. that's been like you know pretty decent bachelors making core memories making new friends that's what i'm talking about all those things and that's it yeah so what makes you uh you know think to pursue masters in italy have you ever thought about it uh Thinking about a masters in it, uh, in Europe, yeah, I had some idea about, about this. I also have had a small idea about you know doing my masters. But if I do my masters in India, it had to be IITs mm -hmm. because I feel like the other ones are not worth my time. Okay. I mean, yeah, I'm not no disrespect to people who decide to you know do masters. They have their own priorities. Okay. And. Uh, just keep doing what they do but still that for me personally i if i was thinking if i'm doing my masters in india it had to be then you know getting into that requires a lot of effort mad respect to people who make it so then i thought like okay we have this option we have equally reputed institutions abroad mm -hmm. you know in germany again in italy norway and all those things okay so me i did uh, did my project with my classmates who were also being you know thinking in the same direction okay and then we just started brainstorming and started looking at my options and their options as well we used to have you know endless calls during the covid period mm -hmm. where we had nothing else to do <laughs> so yeah and then they they had this idea said that they need to do their masters in germany okay for me i was not so close to a country because i don't know what comes might be better at the end the Germany and all those things. So mm -hmm. I just had it open and I I was a bit skeptical about you know fixing on a just uh, fixing just on a single country by learning their language that kind of limits my option. Okay. So I also applied for German universities and also Italian universities and uh, the energy engineering courses in Germany are in you know pretty reputed institutions. Which are obviously, which were obviously a bit difficult for me to get into due to my CGPA. Okay. And then Polytechnico had this, you know, great course where I've also talked to people who are doing the course and you know the structure and everything fascinated me. And then yeah, I just thought I'll apply for Polytechnico. Also, I think Polytechnico di Torino has the same course and Sapienza. These are the three universities I applied in Italy. Okay. And uh, I. I got my offer letter for Polytechnic or Torino first and I was a bit skeptical, you know, should I go to that and all Torino or yeah. Polynesia? No, I didn't get my Polynesia. Okay. So I had my Sapienza Mechanical offer letter and Polytechnic or Torino. Oh, okay. So you yeah. applied for the three universities and then... Yeah. Uh, and then the last offer letter was, was energy because I got rejected in Mechanical for Polytechnic. Okay. 
and then you know when I got the energy of a letter from Milan, uh, Bolivia, I was just like, okay, that's it. So that was your second uh, choice. No, priority. energy engineering was my first priority. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Then great. That's how I kind of try to finish my bachelor's on by doing my projects and uh, seminars and all those things. Okay, okay, yeah. fine, fine, fine. So, bro, uh, people are asking about uh, how difficult it would be, you know, for for bachelor students, those who are already pursue their, I mean, bachelors in mechanical, they are uh, just transiting uh, their bachelors to masters with energy engineering. How hard it would be? Can you please tell us? I mean, uh, if you can, if you compare with your bachelor study from any, you know, you know, in, in institutions like where I study, which is from Kerala, and yeah, the courses are like pretty decent and everything, but. Mm -hmm. You know the amount of hour invested, de uh, the amount of hour demanded for studies are pretty manageable. Okay. But here in Polytechnic, what I felt is like you have to put in a more of effort. Mm -hmm. Like it's not impossible. It's it's a very doable. very interesting and doable course. Okay, that's what people I'm who thinking. came before me have done it, and I am in the process. Of, uh, and I am in the process of doing it. So yeah, so it's not it's nothing like you know an impossible task or anything. It's just you have to. Have this mindset of putting in a bit more effort, which I struggled initially. Okay. But then deadlines and all those things starts coming, and then you, you know you just yeah, it's uh, typical yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. And uh, that's it. Just if if you're planning to move to Europe, it's not just Polytechnic or every university in Europe. Kind of, I don't know about UK, but in Europe, almost every university that they, they demands more out of us. Okay. In a way, it's good, you know, you start to unleash your potential which you never know that exists. Yeah, and exploration has never been a, yeah, a so bad stuff. Yeah, yeah. and uh, yeah, can you can you please tell us about uh, uh, what is actually about energy engineering? Okay, so here basically in Polytechnic or in Milano, we have uh, five tracks which are in English. Okay. And one in Italian, which obviously until you are very well versed in Italian, it's not an option for an international student. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so there are these tracks where, uh, which in the first semester are basically similar, mm -hmm. but coming into the you know subsequent semesters, you can, you know, you can see what you want by choosing by uh, you know going through the uh, the course plan and all those like. For example, I am right now I am doing the track called Energy for Development. Okay. Okay. So, Energy for Development is basically as it uh, is self-explanatory, which says that uh, we are trying to you know mm -hmm. uh, uh, provide energy for developing nations. Maybe the designs. Also, exactly. So okay. so so there are courses called Solar, Wind you know, in uh, development economics, all these kind of courses where you can apply, like applying energy in in Italy is not going to be the same way how you apply it in India because the economy is different. Yes, yes. And obviously. the demands are different. So obviously. you ca study kind of these things. Uh -huh. And then there are, you know, the conventional courses where power generation, uh -huh. oil and gas, there are a different, there are different tracks. And you can choose those tracks on what your idea of your master's it's interest is. It's about the based exactly. on interest. Exactly. But but more or less, it's there are at least 60 credits are all mm, going similar. to be similar. S okay. E you can again change your track. Like, you can change the track if you want after the first year. And mm -hmm. all these things are like pretty flexible here. Mm -hmm. uh, in the first semester, we have three paper. I think all three are mandatory for everyone, which is, you know, the base, mm -hmm. heat and mass energy conversion. Okay. I think a, one of these five tracks, I think it's green power systems that allows you to opt out of energy conversion. Okay. But again these details are all well informed in the, in the, the description. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So are you satisfied with your course? I mean very, very I'm really satisfied I and mean, the professors are like you know the their knowledge is very high. Obviously, they are teaching the polytechnic also. Their knowledge has to be high. Yes, yes. And uh, yeah, initially the effort that I had to put in was quite high, and I couldn't match that because there were some complications in me reaching here and stuff. So yeah, we'll talk about this later. I I'll explain everything so, about the things that you so have crossed. Yeah, so. I mean, yeah, it, it happens. I mean, yeah, it's part of your bureaucracy. I am like, I am just happy and satisfied that I'm here. Yeah. So, it was a 
bit difficult in the initially in the initial uh, days and then you know you just start picking the pace and you are up to speed pretty fast so, so maybe, yeah. okay uh, what are the points that you are going to share i mean what are the motivational thoughts that you are going to share with our people i mean people are really scared about following me anywhere in europe they are still in fear of uh, being a you know coming here uh, doing their masters you know they are seeing like uh, it is impossible some people are doing such things you know uh, spreading false rumors what um, do you think uh i don't want to sugar coat anything yeah poly- polytechnic was demanding i mean you are going to do your masters what do you expect if it's an easy work like everyone will be doing it yes and then that is actually a detrimental thing you know you are doing the same thing as everyone does mm-hmm. and you have a lot of people in the same thing mm-hmm. but here you, you come here you get gain lot of knowledge yeah. uh you become expert of what you study like i studied heat and mass during my bachelor's Okay. But I was not even knowing what was going through in the entire process. I had an idea, just an idea. Okay. But from here, you they give you the proper knowledge, you know, mm-hmm. and all those things. So you just gain knowledge. So the intense level is uh, intensity is a bit high. I mean, at masters, you have to expect it to be a bit high. Okay. People compare it with their bachelors. I think those are those are the you know misconceptions mm-hmm. because initially you just have to have the idea that you are expected to be. working more okay once you have this in your mind it's all you know nice and easy you just have to you know be consistent consistency is key okay i mean i realized it late mm-hmm. <laughs> but since when i started <laughs> being, exactly late, yeah. but since when i started being more consistent mm-hmm. things started coming in a better way obviously you can talk to your seniors like that is key that is key that is the first thing that you have to do Okay. Because they have a better idea on how to design your structures, the course structures, and uh, the approach towards each course. You know, you can study things. Mm-hmm. You can just mug things up. Yeah, which is yeah, not it's not much work. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, if you have people who are studying already in Polymy, or um, you know, alumni, or and even me, you can reach out. Okay. You know, just, just have an idea before what you are getting into. Mm-hmm. If you know what you are getting into, it's your decision. you own up to it make you work more since yeah. it's your decision but all right so if any one of our uh, you know people from india if ask helps you know in any way like telegram or uh, uh, linkedin would you help would you like to help for sure like right now i think uh, there are at least three or four people who contacted me through whatsapp linkedin by friends and friends and like it's you know i came here with the help of these people like me asking my seniors what to do mm-hmm. where should i get this from where should i which course should i take and all those things mm-hmm. so it's always an honor to you know pass on the favor like keep yeah. it coming keep people uh, you know to give uh, to give any information to those who want yeah, for sure you can drop in my linkedin or uh, uh, my social media i can just yeah. enclose his uh, linkedin linkedin is professional linkedin i think linkedin is better yeah yeah i uh, think also you can drop in my mail id so i yeah, sure. monitor both of them yes, that sure. is cool that is cool so guys uh, i'm going to explain the hurdles that we have faced you know uh, when we are in india uh, uh, so <laughs> let me explain uh, you know like, uh, like yeah i mean it was uh, it was like it's not an easy it's not an easy way that we have crossed and uh, i i never really met him uh, <laughs> since i came here right so we used to have a phone call um, we had the same issue with the visa like uh, a similar uh, most uh, most probably it's yeah similar. i mean uh, in my case it was not like a big issue it was just you know the covid uh, thing and you know the yeah. time of communication yeah i just had to submit a couple of documents again which was a pretty straightforward thing but you know again you are waiting for some time and then you are bit anxious because you are looking forward to 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 it too much and you don't yeah. know what's going to happen you are in this you know a half half you have to do you have other things to decide on everything results so we had this issues i mean yeah jasim obviously went through a bit more than me and yeah but again uh, yeah i mean everything you know, happened for the reason everything comes in and so easy to you you will easily forget things yeah. the thing is like uh, Yeah, it's not a big deal. I'm telling you people, you know, uh, getting a visa is a one thing. Uh, make sure that you have input for it. 
So we never thought that you would actually make it because uh, you know when we are uh, in India we used to hear this messages we got visa we got visa we got visa and uh, the anxiety hit us hard so we used to have a conversation for uh, more than an hour bro what is happening why the visa is not coming for us and uh, I got a visa before him and just told one thing uh, bro we are we are going to meet for sure and uh, inshallah for sure that will happen and uh, within ten days I think uh, you got a visa right. So I was the happiest person at the moment, and uh, I, we actually at the moment. Uh, whoever, whoever, were, like we made a friends yeah. before before coming here, right? Yeah, yeah. So we playing Ludo. Yeah, <laughs> me, me Nila. you, Priya, Niladri. Yeah, Anshel. Yeah, we we have we bonded over Ludo. Yeah, the, those guys. A few of the guys got visa before us, so they will be teasing us. I uh, mean, uh, twice, so you are not getting visas at all. Those all, are, all in good fun, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So now we are here, we are actually having this conversation. And uh, yeah, and I'm going to go ask one last question. Like, uh, should you uh, suggest any consultancies to come here, or uh, should you suggest, you know, individual tasks will be better? No, it's easily, I don't know, it's, it's up to you, it's about how you want to apply. Mm-hmm. Like uh, if you have pretty decent time uh, with you, you can just do the documentation yourself. It's a pretty straightforward work. Okay. And because Polytechnic, all the the websites are pretty self-explanatory as well as the consulate right now is a, is a working very efficiently. So yeah, you can just uh, follow yes. whatever um, information you have. You can reach out to us. You know, just clear your doubts. I mean, yeah, I'm here just because of clearing my doubts. <laughs> so you can just do that. And uh, about consultancies, I don't know. I don't really know. Uh, I mean, yeah, there are uh, consultancies that are run by or you know, suggested by the the consulate in uh, Bombay, which I think is really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or you can just do it yourself. It's a pretty straightforward thing. So guys, uh, in this video, uh, I just want to mention one thing. Uh, uh, I think uh, do not quit and uh, do not overthink. Uh, failure is a key, and uh, which makes you, uh, um, you know, put your work harder enough to achieve things. And uh, you know, uh, I have made a different video about telecommunication. In that video, my friends were explained about those things like do not quit and uh, just don't, uh, you know, underestimate yourself. Everything is possible. You know, we guys. Uh, also thought that uh, we would never make it 35 credits in the first year and uh, and we have faced a lot you know during the first semester because the transition period was uh, really a uh, tough right from Indian education to the uh, European education so first semester will be always a challenging one and the semester second semester is like uh, totally the surprising uh, semester you know like from 0 to 35 it's also possible from 25 to 35 okay. or 0 to 80 also possible if you put yourself uh, you know a decent work so i'm i'm just uh, telling do not quit everything is possible it doesn't matter which course you are choosing energy or mechanical or aeronautical or aerospace if you uh, work enough the you know what you call uh, uh, the things will come around for sure so guys, I think that will be enough for this video and uh, we had a good session today. Thanks for helping out. And guys, if any doubts, please ask me or if you want to have a lot of, in- if you want to know a lot of information about energy engineering, I want to go uh, enclose his uh, LinkedIn details or his mail ID so that you can contact him with my friend. Yeah, I think in LinkedIn you cannot just message until you are uh, friends in, uh, or something. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. You just grab uh, me. Feel free to just drop me a request. So that I can just accept and then you can start. Maybe talking. always online, so no issues. Yeah, you know, yeah. such a you know <laughs> internet guy he is. So no worries. And uh, I I hope this video this video is useful for you people. And uh, that's all. I'm signing off. Ciao ciao. Shividya Mudopo. Grazie mille. Ciao ciao.